Hello and welcome to Storytime with Mr. Ryan. Today's story is a celebration of immigrants, those hard-hearted people who have found the courage to travel from all over the world to the United States in search of freedom, in search of success, in search of a new life. But oftentimes, as exemplified by Mustafa in the story, these immigrants feel as though they exist on the fringes of society that they somehow don't fit in. Perhaps they don't speak the language, or perhaps they don't understand the social etiquette of their new place. However, we will find that kindness and politeness and friendship are universal languages that anybody can understand. So that's why today we read the story of Mustafa by Mary Louise Gay. Let's hop on in, shall we? Mustafa and his family traveled a very, very long way to get to their new country. Some nights, Mustafa dreams about the country he used to live in. Dreams full of smoke and fire and loud noises. He wakes up. Where am I? He asks. You are here, says his mama, and she hugs him tightly. They go out to look at the moon and the stars. Is this the same moon as in our old country? Asks Mustafa. Yes, answers his mama. The very same moon. Only then can Mustafa go back to bed. Mustafa looks down at the park. It is so green. In his country, the trees were gray with dust and dry as sticks. He sees birds hiding in the trees. Redbirds, bluebirds, yellowbirds. He sees two small animals jumping from branch to branch. Their bushy tails wave and curl in the air. They chatter like monkeys. Do you want to go play in the park? Asks his mother. Yes, says Mustafa. He runs downstairs. Mustafa walks under the trees the air smells green and cool. He sees flowers shaped like his grandmother's pink teacups. He sees flowers that look like dragon tongues. He sees, he finds two treasures, a white snail shell and a yellow heart-shaped leaf. Mustafa sees a parade of ants carrying tiny blades of grass, like flags. They look like the ants in his old country. So do the soft, fuzzy caterpillars. So do the buzzing bees. Mustafa hears a noise, and he hides behind a tree. A girl walks in the park. She holds a ribbon tied to a cat. In Mustafa's country, cats were skinny and wild. They lived in the streets. They didn't wear ribbons. The girl sees him. She says something. Mustafa doesn't understand her words. He pretends to tie his shoe, and then he runs back to the apartment. Back already? asks his mother. What did you see in the park? Mustafa tells her about the flowers that look like Grandmama's pink teacups. He tells her about the parade of ants waving their flags. He shows her his white snail shell and his yellow heart-shaped leaf. Lovely, says his mother, but he doesn't tell her about the girl with the cat. The next day, Mustafa sees shiny red bugs with black spots. They look like jewels. He finds more treasures, an acorn, a speckled stone, and a perfect drawing stick. Mustafa draws an airplane in the sand. He draws the house he used to live in. He draws clouds of smoke and fire. He draws broken trees. Suddenly, the girl with the cat is there. She points to the drawings and says something. Her words float in the air and disappear. Mustafa drops his stick and runs away. The girl draws flowers butterflies and stars. She draws her cat. The clouds of smoke and fire disappear. So do the broken trees. 
Mustafa goes to the park every day. The trees have turned bright orange and red. Is this magic, he wonders? He sees an old lady feeding breadcrumbs to a whirlwind of pigeons. In Mustafa's country, there was not enough food to share with the birds. The old lady speaks to them. She must be the magician. Mustafa wishes he could speak bird language. Mustafa sees a small vampire chasing a fairy, a fox, and a rabbit. They are screaming and laughing. Mustafa waves to them. They don't see him. They disappear into the trees. Mustafa hears music. It winds its way through the trees like a river. A man is playing a red accordion. Mustafa knows this tune. His uncle Amir played it all the time. Everyone smiles and waves and claps their hands. A dog barks, birds sing. Mustafa whistles along with the music, but nobody notices him. Mama, asks Mustafa, am I invisible? If you were invisible, I couldn't hug you, could I? Answers his mama. The next day, Mustafa sees the girl with the cat. Before she can see him, he scrambles up to the top of a huge tree. Now he really is invisible. But the girl with the cat finds him. She makes a sign with her hand. It means, come with me. He follows the girl to a pond filled with dark water. The girl points. Three fat orange fish are swimming in circles. The girl takes some yellow grains out of her pocket and throws them into the water. The fish rush to the surface to eat. They make funny fish faces. Mustafa laughs. So does the girl. The girl leads Mustafa to another part of the park where there are swings. She ties her cat to a tree. She sits on a swing. The girl swings back and forth, higher and higher. She looks down at Mustafa. He sits on a swing and he swings slowly back and forth, then higher and higher. Together, they almost reach the treetop. Together, they almost touch the clouds. The girl points to herself and says something. It sounds like ma ri a It also sounds like music, happy music. Then she points to Mustafa. He understands. Mus ta fa, he says. Maria smiles. Mustafa doesn't feel invisible anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching me and reading this story along with me. I had a lot of fun reading this. This was a fantastic little story about what it feels like to be an immigrant, especially a new immigrant in the United States. Be sure to extend kindness to everyone, even those you don't know yet. I'm Mr. Ryan. I had a fantastic time reading this story. Please feel free to check out my other stories on this channel, or if you're looking for fun activities you can do from home, go ahead and check out veronalibrary.org children. Until next time, I'll be seeing you. Bye-bye.